Hi, welcome to this quick training video for the Plan Plus mobile app. This video will show you the iPhone app. The instructions are very similar to our Android. Most of the support tickets we get related to this app are covered in this video. The first thing I want to do is download the app from the App Store. Look for the orange icon with the white letter P. Download the app and open it up. One of the first things you're going to want to do is configure the app to sync with your Plan Plus online account. To do that, go to Settings, Sync Settings, and go to your Sync Method Settings. Here, you will input your Plan Plus online account credential settings and click Login. You should see the Login Successful indication after inputting your credentials. Click the Back button. We recommend before you enable your native sync settings that you run a test sync with your Plan Plus online account. So to do that, make sure that you have at least one record for tasks, appointments, and contacts in both your online account and in your mobile account and click the sync button. Then go in and check your calendar, check your tasks, and check your contacts to make sure that the contacts that you have in the online account appear to have synced correctly to your mobile app. Once you have successfully configured the synchronization between your Plan Plus mobile app and your Plan Plus online account, then we recommend setting up your native sync connections. To do that, go to Settings, Sync Settings, and you can begin setting up your native calendar settings. The first thing you'll need to do, check the sync with Apple Calendar checkbox. If you get an error message that tells you that, it, that you need to give access to the app, you would need to go back to your home screen, click your settings, and scroll down, find the Plan Plus app, and make sure that contact, calendar, and reminders are all in enabled. Assuming that you have enabled that feature you can go into the sync settings in the calendar and you can configure your default Apple calendar your default Apple calendar it should show you any email account calendar well any calendar accounts that you have configured on your phone can be chosen as your default calendar for plan plus to write appointments to you can only have one default Apple calendar to write appointments to however you can have multiple Apple calendars displayed and it will show those appointments in your Plan Plus mobile app. If you want to set up your native contact sync, you will need to check that box. You can have you can go into the sync setting options here as well. You will choose which of the contact accounts. If you have more than one email account on your phone, you'll have to choose one of those accounts to sync with. If you want to keep things simple, it's best to have just one main account that you're using for all of your content. So the default account that you select for your contacts will be the one that the Plan Plus mobile app uses to provide the synchronization back and forth between your native data and the mobile app. Caution, if the iCloud account types have been known to do some unpredictable things with the data such as reverting certain changes made by the sync or undoing deletes. Because of this we have the red not recommended text on that. So proceed with caution. To configure your sync with your Apple Reminders, you just check that box, check that line there, go into the sync settings. You'll also want to set a default reminder list. This, this should be a list of your Apple Reminders. So whichever ones are you want your default tasks to be written to from Plan Plus to your Apple Reminders list. You can also choose to sync certain task list. Now to trigger the sync, you will go and click the sync button. Let's talk about a couple of common troubleshooting issues related to sync. First of all, if you feel like nothing is syncing, the first place to start would be to check your settings, check your sync settings, check your connection with your Plan Plus online account. If that does not give you the login successful, uh, that would be the first place to start. Next, if you're having a trouble that you're not able to resolve and you contact our support team, we'll likely ask you to send us your sync log. To do that, you'll need to go into Settings, click Logging and Support. You'll need to enable your sync log. Before you email your log into support, you'll need to go back 
and press the sync button to trigger a new sync. That will make sure that there is data from your sync written to the sync log. After that sync completes, you'll go back into settings, logging and support, you'll click the email log to support, you'll send your log to support at Plan Plus Online, and you will include your account name and your username with that email. Some of the other common issues related to the app and support have to do with your default calendar settings. So again, if you go into the settings, sync settings, and you start to look for things like your default Apple calendar, I've got that set to my iCloud. I need to make sure that my phone has my default calendar. Go into settings, mail, contacts, and calendar. I want to make sure that my default calendar in my phone is set to the same. That will help make sure that things like Siri are going to write appointments to the correct calendar. Another one, another common troubleshooting issue is if you're trying to set up an account, make sure that the account does have, for instance, if you wanted to view the calendar, make sure that that account you're trying to set up has the calendar enabled. Thank you so much for checking out the new Plan Plus mobile app.